Hello my friends and welcome back to another episode of Flutter Explained. Today we want to talk about snack bars and how we can show information to our users that they know what happens. So for example, if I click that image, you can see already there is that nice little snack bar. So let's get started. So for our scaffold, I have just prepared a very easy scaffold. That is very important because a snack bar lives inside of a scaffold. So we need to have a scaffold. And then inside of the body, we have a padding and just a column with a container where we have that nice little image from the Undraw team. And now what we want to do is we want to achieve that if we click that image, we get an, uh, the snack bar. So for that, we have first to create something that we can click. So for that, I create a gesture detector on that container and give it an on tap function. Inside of the on tap, we want now to show a snack bar. With that, we have to take the scaffold and say off context. And now we want to show snack bar. Here we have to create an, our own uh, instance of snack bar with a variable content that we can use. So we can show icons, we can show whole widgets, we can rows, columns, everything is dynamic. We can do nearly everything with that snack bar. But for now, I just keep it with a text. So hello world. Whenever we click now her, we will get an error back. So if you take a look down here in the console, we see a lot of text and that scaffold off called with a context that has not a scaffold. But how can that be? We are in a scaffold. So how can our context don't have a scaffold? The context here comes from the build method that we call whenever we come into a new widget. And with that, this context has no information about this scaffold. So what we have to do is we have to provide another context that has the scaffold inside. So we have two options to do so. We can extract a widget Widget. And with that, we get a new build function that lives inside of a scaffold. So the context has knowledge about this scaffold. So what we can do is we can create out of this gesture detector an own widget. So for that, I take it out, put down here a stateless widget that I call, for example, detected uh, image click widget, a very complicated name. And I just put that gesture detector inside. So what you can see now is this build function returns us a context and it contains all the elements that were uh, above the widget tree. So for example, if I add now this widget to the scaffold and I click on it, the method will work. So we see now the uh, snack bar that we want to achieve. Hmm, okay, but this is not really nice, right? So if we have to surround everything with an own widget just to get the information of the uh, scaffold, that is not really usable everywhere and we don't want to have that. So, so now we have it back in the state that we have before. And now what we can do instead of creating this gesture detector immediately, we can surround that thing with a widget that we call builder. And maybe you have seen already a lot of builders, I think, if, especially if you followed me along. So this builder takes over a method call. And fascinating enough, it creates us a context. And this context is unequal this context. So with that, we have made it that the builder understands getting a new context that contains our scaffold. And this is bypassed into our snack bar which then calls the function show snack bar. So with this little workaround, we can click it and you can see the snack bar appears. So it was very easy to do and we had a very good uh, use case with that and we have to make sure that this co context is, exists. So for us, it is very important if we see the error message with the scaffold is not included in context or even something else is not included in context, then most likely we are in a position where the widget tree don't contain something of this information. So now we found two options to do so and that is very awesome. All right, guys, this is the snack bar in a very easy thing. And of course, the snack bar is much more interesting and can have more possibilities. And I want to show you in the future more of that. But this should it be for today. So you learned how to use the snack bar. You see it in the scaffold. And also you found two options how to do it with the scaffold inside of the context. All right, so if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. And I would be very happy if you could like that video. 
And thank you so much for joining me and see you the next time. Bye.